patent lawsuit over sushi, specifically the sushi rice used at restaurants and sold in supermarkets. The question, was it tainted? CBS 2's Elsa Ramon is live in Studio City with details. Elsa. Well, Paul, turn just about any direction anywhere in Los Angeles, and you'll probably see a sushi restaurant. That's exactly why the attorney who filed this lawsuit says tens of thousands of people could be affected by this, consumers and restaurant owners, by this allegedly bad rice, and he says it never should have been sold or eaten in the first place. Rice is as essential to sushi as sushi is to Los Angeles. But attorney Brian Kabatek claims for years, sushi lovers all over California have been fed rice that never should have made it to their mouths. The rice is adulterated with what's called flush in the industry. And flush in the industry is anything that's not supposed to be in the rice. In a new class action lawsuit, Farmers Rice Cooperative is accused of selling the bad rice to thousands of restaurants and grocery stores all over California under the names New Variety, New Rose, and Imperial Rose. The complaint claims the company would allow foreign substances such as insects, rodents, and their soiling, bird remains, and black mold to be present in its processed rice. The complaint also states restaurant owners and consumers were led to believe they were buying extra fancy rice, but instead what they got was inedible. This rice, although they claim it's sushi grade, is as little as 15% sushi grade, and it's adulterated with other less inferior rices. Tonight, the Farmers Rice Cooperative refuted these accusations, saying, quote, we believe the charges are baseless and look forward to the opportunity to vindicate ourselves in court. There are no reports of anyone getting sick or dying from this allegedly bad rice, but if you feel you should be part of this class action lawsuit, you can contact the firm. You can get that information on our website, cbsla.com. Just click on Seen on TV. Reporting live in Studio City, Elsa Ramon, CBS 2 News.